Steve, 2-2. Two, two. How precious a point could that be? Well, we'll see. Um, obviously, where we end up. Um, if it's where we want to be, then we'll, I think we'll look back at today and, and, uh, and be more than satisfied with it. Um, obviously, it's Chelsea away and you see the team they have and the subs that they can change. Uh, they can make changes with away, away from home, as I said. Um, you know, it was always going to be a really, really tough game. So for the guys to just to commit to the, the plan that we put in place to um, to show the desire and the attitude that they did and the togetherness, you know, there's there's you know a lot of positives to take out of the game. Um, I think that there's also a little bit of disappointment in the dressing room as well, and a little bit of what could have been, which I like. I think that's good. I think that's the 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 attitude and culture that we we really are trying to create here. Not so much the attitude, but the culture, and um, and yeah, sort of mixed feelings really of of working really hard to get something out of the game and being satisfied with that. And um, but then at the same time knowing that it could have could have been slightly different. And I think probably the goals sum up what I'm saying with how hard we've had to work for ours and 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 took them through you know strategies offset pieces and and the, the quality for the first goal and although they're decent finishes from the Chelsea lads at the same time you know we look at it and go shouldn't have let them get in too easy so but that's that's how we are we we, we blame uh, no individuals we do everything together um, that's been a big strength of ours this year and you can see it on the pitch the, the culture and the togetherness of the group is is uh, at maximum again and um, you know we're going to need that for the for the running there'll be two games left yeah, not much of a running left mm. now is there um you there have been away games steve where we've spoken and yeah. you've questioned the desire a little mm. bit of your team we've also seen capitulations once or twice so yeah early uh, second like, half at, at, at two yeah. at two one yeah. that shows a lot of character to come back from there for yeah the first there i don't think i've ever questioned desire maybe a little bit of belief a little bit of confidence and um know how maybe been in the league but I don't it's not never have I really questioned you know will from the guys and and commitment on that part because they do give it give everything um but obviously it's not always been perfect of course away from home because of what you just said about some of the, the really poor results and at times parts of the performances that, that we that we've had so um so yeah it was it was good to see um not what you just mentioned today particularly as you said going two one down when really we're all sitting there or stand there, especially the sports thinking, oh, how's that happened? Um, so to show the, the the attitude and the resilience to get back into the game and then get something out of it, um, like I said, you know, nobody's last thing we're doing is is um, getting too overboard with um, with getting something away at Chelsea. But at the same time, I think we should be satisfied. Tyrell so, one year's got four goals in a week now. Yeah. Um, he really seems to be coming into his own in this Premier League. Now. Yeah, I think that um, he deserves the goals and obviously number nine on your back, that's what you want to do. Um, I think T, since he's come, he's had a, a great you know, um, commitment and attitude to, to get back to being available. Um, and I think that, I think he's played really well since he's come back and obviously the, what, what had been missing up until the other night was, was the goals. He was a little bit disappointed he didn't score the header against Brentford. Um, so the fact now he's got a few goals in two games is is great for everybody, you know, especially him because I think since he's come back, and let's let's remember he's, he's missed a large part of the second half of the season. So to come back and having the impact that he's had, even in the games where he's not scored, credit to him, credit to the the medical team in, in getting him in the place that he's in, um, and um, let's let's hope that he can continue, you know, um, in preparation for for next Saturday. Uh, it clearly worked. But you made that change today to bring in the third defender, if you like, at the mm. back, uh, in place of, of Brennan Johnson. So Brennan's on the bench. Um, was that just your choice, your tactic, or is, is ta Brennan yeah. carrying something? Yeah, tactical. I think not just. I think the the third centre back, but also the fourth midfield player. I mean, we always play with um, three midfield players any, anyway. You know, we we uh, we never play with with less than that. But I just felt like that we needed an extra one in there today, and obviously Danilo is in good form. Listen. I love Brennan more than anybody, you know, and and you know when I explained the situation to him, um, he's at, he, you know fine with it. I'm not sure, but it, but he, he got it and he un, and he understands. He's had a massive contribution to this season. Everybody knows that, and um, um, it was probably a thought to get him on earlier before the game, thinking if you see with the two centre backs, you know, with his pace. But we just felt like team might get another chance because of because of having the two, and sometimes that's how you turn them into into three. But um, but we've got him at the same time, and yeah, like like Brennan is, you know, brilliant attitude, brilliant commitment. Only wants what's right. Only wants what's right for for the football club. 
and um, and added to to the overall performance. And um, I repeat, you know, I love Brennan more than anybody. Ninety fifth minute. Did you think he was going to be, get played in? He was, was almost yeah, think, away, I wasn't know, it? I think Arel just felt a bit of. Um, um, you shared the frustration with me there, didn't you, with your face? But I think that uh, I think you just felt a bit of cramp on whatever he said to me coming off the pitch. But uh, and then you worry about going the other way, don't you? But uh, but no, nah, listen. Like I said, um, let's get out of it. Let's get back to work. You know, let's go. Got a good week's preparation now. A little bit of recovery time in amongst all the week and um, big focus now on getting back to the city ground.